Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Dragon's Dogma 2 Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So in this episode, we're going to be probably finishing off the Guardian Gigantis quest by getting the God's Blaine to Physis. And honestly, I'm not really sure what's going to happen next. We're heading up to the Moonlit Tower. I have, I, I would assume we're about to fight the dragon. I would make that assumption. But like I said, we're about to find out. So, let's get into it. Had to explore this area a little bit to try and find the inn that they talked about, um, that they showed off. Didn't realize it was back behind here. That was... A little annoying, a little frustrating at first, trying to trying to find it again. But we made it, we found it, and we got some rest. So, like I said, let's head on down. I didn't, for whatever reason, I did not realize that this is the same location you start the game in. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. Yeah, but for whatever reason, that just, that just didn't occur to me. So I wonder, are we going to fight a Medusa again? Because I remember that's what happens at the beginning of the game. A Medusa shows up and allow, kind of facilitates your escape. So We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Remain alert and not shock. So they're going up. I see. So we have a bit of a dungeon to go through. Because we cannot go up that way, obviously. That would be too easy. No, we get to go the hard way. Though I do want to see what's over here, if anything. Yeah, I didn't, didn't think so. Let's see. That looks familiar. That down there. That is a uh, elevator, I think. That looks like a mechanism to me. Ought we to activate it or let it be? The choice is yours, Arisen. We pawns will be ready to respond, whatever the outcome. So we are now in the tower, I believe, the higher levels of the tower. Well now, I'm a lucky man. Thought I was waiting here for Nord. But when someone finally does come along, is you I've always wanted a real fight with you one on one oh joy here's my chance we're not really a one on one fighter at the moment but we'll take it you're not holding back on me are you sir Arisen. just so right Wow, he deals some uh, damage. This was a rotten life. I'm not sorry to see it end. At least I went out fighting. You have bested Sir Ragnar Master, an incomparable feat. 
But we cannot revel in your triumph. We must press on. Clash and conclusion. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Stay with me, Arisen. Wait a moment. There we are. Yeah, that one slash he got on... That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. But that one slash he got on us was pretty good. The moon lint key. Oh, excuse me. Moon glint key. Oh, good. I specifically use all heal elixirs for this class because our uh, martyrs shot uses up actual health and all heal fixes that. So we we'll have five of those now. That's good. That means I can use means I can use five uh, yeah, martyrs bolts, excuse me, before having to worry. Up we go. I am like on the lookout for other chests and whatnot. Oh, this is nice. A uh, rift stone, just in case you want to change out your pawns. I like the ones I have. Oh, and it's a good one too. One where you can actually search. And everyone is really high level now. I think we're good with what we got. A troubling rumor has reached my ear. Oh, joy. Thinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness Paul's can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around me. As it progresses. That doesn't look good. Dragon. Heed my call. Your will is mine to command. Curses. This arrival of the true risen is most inopportune. Sovereign of Vermin, the ritual must not be disturbed. Let not the arisen approach. You can manage that, I trust. It is a vital thought that we have a great old basis. The pretending. Oh, come on. Back off. See what I mean? This is not a... Uh... There we go. He would be a thief. Oh, come on. You know what? as this world's hollow and fruitless order is remade by my hand. The ritual is complete. The dragon comes. Not the right dragon. That one has pustules on it. Dragon. By my power, the dogma of dragons is unmade. Hmm. You could ne'er understand a risen. We must all be freed from the vulgar order wherein the dragon's existence determines all.
the real dragon. summoned the resolution to face me. Then answer me this. Why, Why? What? dost thou fight? Is it to reclaim thy flesh, thy stolen heart? Or is it to reclaim thy throne? I offer thee a choice. Grant unto me this life in my cause, and be gone from this place. Or stand and fight. Pitiable arisen. The time for thou to make thy choice is come. Show me the path thou wouldst walk. Go. And thou shalt live to claim thy counting throne. So just for a second. The uh person they have in their hand is the is the uh maester for the uh magic bow. But from my understanding he's supposed to have the person that you hold most dear. So that should have been, at least in this this playthrough, Ulrika. So I, I don't know if it's a glitch in the game or if I missed something, but whatever. Again, I have no idea why they picked her. Is done. We must fulfill our charges. I as the dragon, and thou as the arisen. Climb upon me. We shall depart for our true battlefield. the God's pain. Oh. 
I just know that's an option, and I want to see what it ha what happens if you use the Godsbane on yourself. Because it killed the dragon and me. Is that what happened? Because I know there's like multiple endings to the game, I'm just not sure how to get all of them. No, stay away. Pray. Turn back. Leave now, while you can. Oh, that's the brine coming at us. Okay. Yeah, but it's just perpetuating a cycle, a never-ending cycle. What you see before you is the consequence of your apathy. So the Pathfinder is a supreme gaslighter, because that's not true. Blink of an eye, 
The sickle of oblivion will bring all to the end. Now, I would advise you not to waste these last moments. Perhaps, in doing so, you should come to see the truth and know the wretchedness of the world, unworthy of being chronicled. How shall you fare, I wonder? Will you endure in this world, abandoned and unprotected? That's at the Arbor Heart. That's Bach Patal. That's the Gigantus that we defeated. That is the Seafloor Shrine. Hmm. I don't know what all the red lights are. I might actually have to look some stuff up. And where's mine? Where is she? But that is legacy complete. He wishes to gaze upon a griffin first hand. Uh, let's go ahead and undo that one. Dreams apart, find your pawn. Okay. And visit the and speak with Rathias. We'll go ahead and set that one as our priority. But we are going to wrap things up here before we go too much, uh, too much, too much deeper. I do realize that all of the water is gone, which is really interesting. Um, this area here is fog, I'm guessing. Like, you can't go into that. Um... And there's these red points on the map. And I, so I, I don't know what those are. But I'll probably check them out. First thing, obviously, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go get our pawn. We're going to go get our pawn in the next episode. And then I might start actually abusing the uh, fairy stones to get to like this location here to see what this is. I'm assuming it's a dragon fight of some kind. Um do the same to get to that's in the forbidden research lab and do the same to get to the arbor heart check out that one but yeah i'll do i'll look into some i'll look into things a little bit uh see what is like what we're kind of supposed to be doing here but that'll be for the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.